Hello guys and welcome to Vlogin Project. Today we're gonna do a quick speed test between the Xiaomi A1 and the Moto Z2 Play. Inside the Xiaomi A1 we've got the very well-known Snapdragon 625 processor which is an octa-core and is clocked at 2 GHz. Now on the Moto Z2 Play we've got the Snapdragon 626 which is the same octa-core processor but this time is clocked at 2.2 GHz. And now the GPU inside the Xiaomi A1 is the well-known Adreno 506 clocked at 550 megahertz and on the Moto Z to play we've got the same GPU but this time is overclocked to 650 megahertz. Now let's kick off this speed test with a quick boot test guys to make it as fair as possible. Now both phones are off, I'm gonna power both on and see which one is gonna boot up faster. It's not that it matters that much, simply because, well, when was the last time you have ever powered off your phone unless it's uh, stuck at something or something like that. I really don't, don't remember when was the last time I powered off my phone, uh, but yeah, uh, let's see, let's see it anyway, let's see it anyway. Okay, we've got the password screen over here, let's put the password on the Xiaomi and let's see what we can get. Both phones are running stock Android, there was a little bit of a crap. Uh, from Verizon on the Moto which I disabled and basically there was no extra applications on the Xiaomi A1 So yeah, the Moto is first. The Moto is first guys Let's see how long it's gonna take for Xiaomi. Oh, just a second. Just a second after that So now how we gonna do that? I've got no SIM cards inside both phones Both are going to be connected to the same Wi-Fi and basically these are the applications that we gonna have a look at Okay guys, so let's kick this comparison off with a quick speed test Let's see how the Wi-Fi speeds of both two phones It's very interesting that behind the scenes I ran a couple of tests and every time the Xiaomi A1 was faster But anyway, let's just go to settings Let's just select the same server Vorophone UK, Vorophone UK over here And let's do the speed test and see which phone is gonna perform better guys Yep, the Xiaomi is faster once again. I guess that's due to the design of the phone, the antenna lines and everything like that. But let me tell you that in conversations, both phones has pretty much, you know, the very, very same uh, excellent speaker quality, their on drop signal. But it's just, as you can see, there is a significant difference in the Wi-Fi speeds and the Xiaomi over here wins. So now let's go to Basemark OS and let's see we're gonna run a quick benchmark over here and let's see which one is gonna complete the benchmark first and what the results should be. Now I'm gonna skip the video over here, I'm gonna speed it up actually and I'm gonna see you in the end of this benchmark. And the Moto Z2 is first guys. Now there's something very wrong in this application and I've got no idea why I'm getting an overall score of 351 over here and the web is like minimum. I mean that's, that's a little bit awkward. As you can see system looks like a little bit optimized over here. Memory is half and, and the graphics pretty much the same. I really have no idea why I'm getting these weird results to be honest with you. Let's check some of my older results guys. That's like the first results that I get on this phone like a couple of months ago when I was doing the review and as you can see they look a little bit different but anyway. So now let's run Antutu. Let's see what Antutu is gonna say. They open up pretty much with the same speed guys as you can see. I've already tested them but anyway let's press the button test again and let's see which phone is going to complete the benchmark quicker and let's see what kind of results we're gonna get and again i'm gonna you know speed up the video a little bit okay so the xiaomi is first and straight away after that is the moto z2 play guys so now let's have a look at the results guys, the Xiaomi A1 63,167 and the Moto Z to play 65,867, that's a little bit weird because this, was, this one finished first but anyway 3D as you can see there's no noticeable difference, UX whatever that is, is a little bit higher on the Moto Z to play 
CPU is a little bit higher on the Moto Z to play as well and RAM is a little bit higher as well. So now let's exit and run Epic Citadel because we've got both of those phones you know heated up already because of the benchmark and what better time to check how many FPS are you going to get when you already did some gaming. So let's see what do we have here guys. I'm gonna set both of those phones on maximum quality. Actually, let's put them like that. Yes, Epic Citadel. It's too bad that it's taken off the market already. It was my favorite benchmark application, but anyway. So now, performance settings, ultra high quality, ultra high quality on both. So yeah, let's just come back. And let's kick off benchmark. Let's see which one is going to do better, guys. And that's it, guys. That was closer than I expected. 49.3 FPS for the Xiaomi A1 and 49.8 on the Moto Z2 Play. Excellent results in both phones. And now, while they're still hot, let's jump and open up a couple of applications. Man, I'm gonna sweat both of these phones today in this benchmark and speed test. So let's do this, guys. Play Store. Okay, the show me was quick over here. YouTube. The show me was again quicker. That's getting awkward. Chrome. Okay, now is the time to press the subscribe button because I want to see these numbers growing, guys. I really appreciate your support. Now, let's do Google Plus and see which one is quicker. This one was a lot quicker this time, guys. And now, let's open up Hot UK Deals and let's see what we're going to get. Pretty much the same, I would say. And now, let's fully load those phones with a little bit of a games. Now, Hot Views, Race Off. Let's see which one is gonna load up faster. That's a relatively, you know, um, a relatively light game, so they should open up quickly. But let's see, let's see, let's see which one, which one, which one. I guess the Moto Z. Is it the Moto Z? Moto Z2. Moto Z2 Play. Moto Z2 Play. Yes, the Moto Z2 Play was quicker. <laughs> How funny. Now, let's open up Asphalt Extreme. Now, don't forget that the Moto Z2 Play is running the same Adreno 506 GPU, but it's a little bit overclocked to 650 MHz compared to the same GPU here on 550 MHz, guys. And as you can see, the Moto was a little bit quicker over here. Now, let's continue with Injustice. Now, I have totally no idea how long is that game gonna take too low because it's quite heavy it's a new game as well and definitely while the snapdragon 625 and 626 are very good mid-range cpus and they're running pretty well most games now with the newest and the heaviest games they're struggling a little bit like the killshot virus it's not that this is is that new but it's a quite a heavy game and injustice 2 is like a couple of weeks old and uh, it's really making both of those phones sweat, as you can see, guys. So basically, if you're into, you know, very heavy gaming, uh, you should look for something else. But relatively good, very close, very close, actually. Let's see, let's see, let's see which one is going to load up quicker. Very close results, very close. I'm impressed, actually. A little bit more. Let's go. And the Moto Z was quicker as well, negligible difference over here. And now let's do Mortal Kombat, no, Q-Shot Virus. Let's do Q-Shot Virus first and let's see. Now don't forget something else. The Moto Z2 Play costs double the price of the Xiaomi A1. So don't forget that guys. I really have no idea why. Of course, if you click in the description down below, I can give you the best prices for both of those phones. In UK pricing, this one is about 280 at the moment and this one is about, well, 150 um, so yeah it's still it's still um, double the price but again the moto was quicker in loading up quick kill shot virus or whatever it is and now 
let's do the final test of the Mortal Kombat, my all-time favorite game, guys. I remember when I was a young boy, Mortal Kombat 3 and the Mortal Kombat 3, the ultimate was the big thing. Uh, we had this sort of, a, uh, let's say, gaming saloons where you gather all your friends and you play Mortal Kombat until your <laughs> monies are finished, basically, but... Um, yeah, good old days, good old days. And now, let me see, let me see. I really wish to see the Xiaomi A1 loading up a game a little bit quicker than the Moto Z to play, guys. But uh, that could be the Mortal Kombat. Let's see what we're gonna get. Oh man, I should have become a sports uh, commentary. <laughs> Football or something like that. Um, never, nah, nah, that's not for me. Oh, that's my, that's my first speed test, by the way. If you if you came along this far into the video, don't forget this is my first speed test. If you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. Or I take you know um, criticism as well very well. So let me know what you think of my speed test so far. And uh, if you want to see more devices like for example the essential phone versus the oneplus 5t just let me know and i'm gonna get busy in the next few days so unfortunately i missed the results uh while i was letting the phones go and i guess the moto z was quicker but uh anyway so now let's start again guys now instead of opening up the multitasking window over here i'm just gonna press on the apps because it's basically easier and let's see how is the ram management don't forget we've got 64 gigs and uh, 4 gigs of ram over here now we have 32 gigs and 3 gigs of ram so let's see speed test is it going to load again well i really don't know but anyway it doesn't matter base mark let's see both loading up again now let's see Antutu, yes, both loading up again, a little bit quicker on the Xiaomi. Now Epic Citadel, let's see, yes, both loading up again Epic Citadel, but no, this one left off where, where, where I left the phone. Okay, and this one is loading up again. Alright, alright, maybe now we are starting to see the difference in the RAM. So now let's come back to the Play Store guys, and let's see, this one was a little bit quicker. Now let's go back to YouTube, YouTube English accent a little bit, more or less the same. Now let's do Chrome once again and let's see. Okay, well, maybe more or less the same. Now Google Plus, this was a little bit quicker on the Moto Z, but they had to reload again. Hot UK deals, let's see, this one is kind of kept, but this one wasn't. And now let's quickly come back to the gaming that's where it gets interesting but have that in mind that in real time usage you ain't gonna get so many apps open <laughs> at the same time guys in your phone but uh, yeah just uh, keep that in mind uh, again maybe all the games are going to load up again and let's see which one is gonna load up quicker and is it going to be yes 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 over here is quicker and straight away after that is this one so now let's get back to asphalt and see if it's kept in the RAM. Okay, this one is kept actually. This one is kept in the RAM and this one loads up again. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's see Injustice. Let's see what do we have, guys. This one is kept in the RAM as well and this one is closed, guys. So now let's get back to kill shot virus and let's see this one is kept in the ram as well and this one is loading up again and now last application more to combat let's see what we have again this one is kept into the ram so basically to sum it up guys cpu the mode was just a little bit quicker in most situations and when it comes down to you know ram management i could say that the extra gig of ram helped quite a lot of the xiaomi a1 but no matter which phone you've got you should be happy because both of those phones are my favorite you know all time premium mid-range phones so yeah that was it guys thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one that was vlogging project for you Adiós.